What's going on people? Thought I'd do a quick update as I'm adding some new plants to the pond and I'm now finishing off the nesting area for the big female and let me show you how I'm getting on. Right. You can't flip it round, okay. So so that's the nesting area, what what's gonna be the nesting area in the middle of the island there. I'm digging roughly about a foot down and then I'm going to fill it up and compact it down with multi-purpose compost. I have brought, I've got a couple of plants that need to, that I'm going to plant into the island there to soak up moisture from the rain, which is this r stunning red plant here, which, oh God, there's the name of it. And that's what it should hopefully look like when it's when it's done. This is the other plant that's going in there. And that's what it should look like when it's finished. And it's called a hosta guacamole. Not a, not a clue, guacamole, whatever. I brought this tree-like looking plant. I saw it in the garden centre yesterday. And it had basically it had bent over the path. So I want to create that same sort of shade, but creating a shade over the pond area here. And then the next couple of plants that I've had, that I've brought, there are a couple of grass plants here, in which I have put in the holding pool. So as you can see, the holding pool. This is the one grass plant. I believe it's called a zebra grass plant. This is another one, but it's, Bit, quite quite a bit younger than that one and I brought these reeds as well which came with this plant as well I think it's a bamboo I'm not overly certain because I don't know what it is but it also came with a fern inside the plant part as well so I'm I'm thinking about taking the fern out of there and put planting the fern in the back in the basket in the nesting area comment with what you think below please I like to get some information, what, whatever, like, let me know what you think. And I'd like to hear back from you. Thank you. Bye.